Are we ready for a vacation yet? Let's get into it for the week beginning April 20th, 2020. everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 20th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. All the information for courses, all that good stuff down below in the description box. Oh, this week, y'all, <laughs> I told you I'd be bringing back my little scrunchie and here she is. Okay. <laughs> but I think we all need a good laugh this week. And even if, you know, things that, that have been kind of coming up to the surface to be cleared away, if it's been painful or not painful, some of you might say, well, I didn't experience that. Hang tight because, <laughs> hang tight because one day it's going to hurt. No, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say that. But what I'm getting at here is that the time is not linear. So the stuff that comes up in the, in what we call in the weeklies, just to break down the information it might pertain to a lot of people at that point, but not everybody. It's not linear. So the message is still absolutely for you. Remember, these are not predictive. These are here to break open a deeper understanding. All right. So just come at it from that angle. So let this be, I, I'm seeing people sitting, sitting down and meditating. I'm seeing people doing creative projects. Everyone just needs to give their heart a break. It's been a big healing process, a lot of understandings and things coming to our awareness and it can feel a little taxing. Okay. Oh yeah. Now here in the U S we just had to submit taxes. Ha <laughs> ha. Right? So all of us might need just to decompress a little bit to come back into center, to gather our thoughts, spend time with your family, uh, spend time going outdoors and enjoying nature, you know, this sort of thing. Give yourselves a break, a lot of rest. But remember, it's not just sleeping. Sleeping's good, okay? Uh, but it's also doing anything that might help your creative life force. If you wanna, you know, read a book, or this might even be a time, be careful what you watch and what you take in, of course. But, you know, I was just using the a few weeks ago the example of watching Rhett and Link. I love watching Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> do not watch that while you're eating though. That is not a time for that because they do some freaky things on that show with what they eat. <laughs> I did it one time. They were eating a certain food. I won't gross you all out but I happened to be eating um, I was eating chicken strips that I it was doing alternative cooking with and so i made like these breaded things with almond flour i was trying a new recipe just in the middle of like testing out my recipe and i looked over and they were eating something that was stringy and it was making them gag and i was like oh this is unfortunate this is unfortunate timing right here with that in my mouth i'm feeling like i'm eating what they're eating no so just you know awareness around that but laughing color bringing color into your life How, whatever that means for you however you want to do that getting out playing with the kids, you know, reconnecting. It, that's really what this whole thing is all about. It's about connection and giving your heart a break, <laughs> right? And, you know, having, having a moment to laugh, having a moment to smile, uh, to, as we've been saying, remember what is important. 2020 is going to be lots of this. Okay. Lots of what, huh? How, ha, huh, ha, huh? you know, all that kind of stuff. So again, <laughs> just be ready for it. And there's not really much here in the sort of, if you want to call it like a partial channeled message here, um, to, to understand, except that you just need to rest. Yes. Rest, relax, rejuvenate. Um, I don't know if it's the right time for y'all to be taking vacations, <laughs> but if you can't take a vacation, do it. Or maybe you're doing a staycation, but really make breaking out of the norm a priority for you this week. Yes. And I just keep feeling family. I know I keep repeating myself, but it just keeps cycling back around. It's like, you know, spend time with the family, spend time um, doing what you love. All right. With people that you love. Okay. So uh, that was a pretty simple beginning message. Let's get some cards. Let's see what else comes through. And I'm just going to be under my mic cord here as I shuffle. All right. I'm seeing like a scarlet jewel. I don't know what this is. It looks like jewelry. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Could be grounding. Mm-hmm.
Okay, it, sometimes it gets weird around here. Um, knowledge Keeper. Oh. Uh, what is with that? It's like a garnet color. It's like a garnet. Knowledge Keeper. I know, comment down below <laughs> if that pertains to any of you. All right, one more shuffle here, I think we'll do it. Let's see what our cards are for this week. We have, oh nice, finally. Jeez, it's been a heavy few weeks, hasn't it? So Orpiment Success, this feels like a breakthrough, okay? This is a definite breakthrough, maybe in your life, but maybe out in the world. Something finally gets to be released, something finally can be put to rest. But this is not striving for success in the way that you think. Okay, this is not forcing or pushing or, you know, remember the whole message over the past several weeks has been to take care of one another and to not, not just backbite or, you know what I'm saying? Like not do any of those kinds of things, but rather to embrace being with one another. So success comes in a different kind of way. Success comes from cooperation and working together, not against. Yes? Okay. So there's a lot of success and love <laughs> this week as well. So if you're getting engaged, I don't know. Congratulations if that happens. Uh, but again, don't force it. Don't force it. I've never understood people who are like, I have to give my, my love partner an ultimatum. We either have to get married right now or I'm breaking, what? Like if you have to talk somebody into proposing to you, <laughs> I, come on, you know? Like, no, don't force anything, okay? The flow will help you bring in success into your life. Ooh, Cooperite rites of passage. Yeah, we've come out of a heck of a long stretch of a lot of kind of painful moments and painful, we keep saying realizations, revelations. Journaling would be a wonderful time, a wonderful way to spend your time is what I meant to say. It's a good time to journal. <laughs> but this rites of passage says you've come through some very, very difficult situations some difficult um, understandings and all of that. And your perspective on the world most likely is changing. So if you don't embrace that and you try to go running back into the old way of being, this is not going to serve you. It is just not going to serve you, okay? So give your heart a break. It's time to breathe, it's time to rest. I know. I can use it too, <laughs> right? All right, ruby, interesting, because I saw that kind of garnet colored uh, crystal. So ruby shine, you're, you're getting ready. You've come through the lesson. You've come through, I would say the turmoil. And now it's time to embrace the love that's around you in any form that it comes. And, you know, whether that's love of life or a love partner, your friends, your family, your pets, you know, pets really inspire a lot of love and it's time to shine. But this doesn't mean in the egotistical way. A lot of times people will see the success card with shine and go, that's right, I'm gonna shine my talents. Ugh. Go back and watch like the last six weeklies that I've done. Like seriously, you missed the message. Um, this is saying shine out your purified energy, the frequency that you put into the world. That's how you are shining. It's not necessarily about what, what surface level success you have. Oh, I think I'm successful because I have this love partner. Uh, <laughs> again, if you are madly in love with one another, Yes. Oh, yes. I love that. Be madly in love. But a lot of people are in pretend love relationships that they get very defensive about and they don't want to look at it. They don't want to look at what they're doing out in this world. Okay. They don't want to look at what kind of energy they're putting out there. Okay. So be ready to shine. <laughs> All right. So then we have Chrysotel animals. That's so funny. I was just saying uh, pets can inspire a lot of love, but this is getting in touch with your heart through nature, through grounding. This could be very uh, like a, sh a shamanistic kind of a shamanism kind of journey. Um, but this made me think of how often when I, I know I got upset around Christmas time with the zoo and uh, 
I still stand by what happened there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and find the vlog where I don't remember what day it was, but um, I had a very weird experience and I was like, I'm never going back to this place. But the fact of the matter is, is I love those animals over there. I love them so much and my heart is very connected to them and it'd be very difficult to walk away and not know what's going on with them. So <laughs> I still go, I still go. I just kind of manage my expectations now. But um, Krista Howe Animals talks about finding your heart center by connecting to different elements of the earth and other beings and other um, life forces here, okay? So that is connecting with animals. Taking a moment to look at the birds, okay? <laughs> here in Colorado, we have really gorgeous, amazing birds everywhere. And uh, I, I go to the Garden of the Gods to hike quite a bit. And when I'm hiking through there, I mean, some people are really just trying to, you know, go, 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 go. I am making a very big effort to stop when I see a beautiful bird. I don't care if people think I'm a nerd. I, that rhymed, hey. Um, but I'm gonna stand there and I'm gonna take it in. I wanna take in nature. I wanna take in uh, the natural creativity that's all around me. And to get the earbuds out and listen to the birds. Listen to what's going on around you, okay? The animals have messages. So this could definitely be a week where you get a lot of your animal totems coming through and, you know, bringing you some good messaging. Yes. Okay. So that was four cards. Man, this week is going to be really short, which is nice, I guess. We'll talk about needing a vacation and needing a break. <laughs> Michelle, I need a break from your long videos. It's too much. I know. All right. Let's get a color card. All right, that should do it about right there. So we have chocolate, nourish your body and soul. The number is 13 reduces to four. So yeah, this is definitely taking a minute. Right? Nourish your body and soul and getting grounded as well. Guys, we don't have to keep pushing. We don't have to keep striving. We don't have to keep forcing things to happen. I've been saying that your success comes from letting the lessons, you know, the right rite of passage kind of messages, letting those land. Okay, letting those land. What was it? Oh, and then that's where you will be able to shine. Okay, but again, if you guys keep hanging on to your expectations, if you keep hanging on to how you think things should be instead of how they are, <laughs> if you're not opening yourself up to what the universe has to show you, it's going to be really hard for you to have that success. You know what? Even if you did get the success, it's going to be like, Ugh, do I have the energy to like go ahead and take this opportunity? Do I have the energy to keep putting, you know, a good wavelength out into the universe? I mean, you just need to give yourself a break. Okay. Uh, several weeks ago, somebody sent me, Damien, actually, hi, Damien, sent me a big old box of candy bars and a beautiful opal crystal as well. And I just thought that was so sweet. I know that, you know, he had to go get all that and send it from Australia. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful and amazing. And when I posted a picture of this kind gesture, I, I posted what somebody had done for me and it's, it's literally sweet. And people just had to be so negative about it. And so I go, enjoy your trans fats. I mean, <laughs> What kind of life do you live? Like seriously, get yourself in check, okay? Like get yourself in check and totally missing the goodness of life and trying to look for the bad and then trying to justify that. You know, we all know you're after something. You're, you just have to put that negativity out into the world. We don't have room for those kinds of people anymore. And this is, <laughs> you know, that chocolate was representing something to me that someone cared enough. They paid attention. They know I like chocolate and they went to the effort to send me a gift. So this chocolate card is saying, you know, don't always be looking for the bad here, man. I mean, like, <laughs> Hey man, uh, don't be looking for the bad. You can give, you know, some credit to when someone's trying to be nice. Okay, when someone's trying to be nice. I wanna pull another one because this is, this message has gone very quick. Uh, we have coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine. A God number. So what do you wanna create in your world? Do you want to just look at the limiting 
offerings and just go with that? Or do you want to open up and expand with the universe and say, okay, universe, what you got on deck for me? <laughs> what do you want to show me? What do you want me to do? How may I serve? And this is where with that flow and synchronicity, you may come to realize, okay, maybe this isn't the right job for me. This isn't the right career for me. You know what? I'm getting too stressed out with the work that I do. I'm getting too, oops. I, I always have to watch this little tiny monitor over here to make sure there's no glare on the car. That's why I keep looking over here. Uh, you know, we're real casual here, whatever. Uh, but yes, it, in order to do that, you have to be embracing the freedom a little bit. We talked about that, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, the whole video on being free, being free from expectations. What else? Oh, the synchronicity part. What about that? Allow possibility. Mm -hmm. And don't, I've been saying this for a while too, don't get hung up on your schedule because that seems to be where, and I need that message too because I do that all the time where I'm getting hung up on, I've got to get this many videos done. I have to do it this. And my life revolves around the weather. Why? We have gorgeous weather here <laughs> most of the time. And I want to be outside connecting with nature and being very grounded. But we also have severe weather around here. When we get a hailstorm, it's no joke. Okay. Like you could completely obliterate your car by being out in a hailstorm or blizzards around here. They come up quickly and you know, it's just supposed to be a little bit of snow and now it's a blizzard. And that actually happened, speaking of the zoo, that happened when I was at the zoo one time. I was hiking around. It was 68 degrees outside. All I had on <laughs> was a little shirt that had a hood. And uh, there was just this cold snap. It happened that quickly. And there was a, a staffer standing near me and this other woman who had, she was pushing a stroller. And they came on and they're like, uh, we just got a blizzard warning. He's standing there in shorts. And he's like, like picks up the thing and he's like, did you just say a blizzard? And sure enough, I looked over the mountain because it's a Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. It's coming over Cheyenne Mountain. Looked up and there were these like really weird looking clouds coming over and I saw a few snowflakes. That's how fast it came in. And they had like 30 minutes to get the animals inside. And I, at the time, I think it was like a 45 minute drive home or, so, or something like that. I had to like, no, I had, no, it wasn't a 45 minute, it doesn't matter. I had to get to somewhere to get food because I had no food in my apartment. That's what it was. And so I didn't get home for like 45 minutes. And by then it just came down. It came up with no warning. <laughs> so my whole life revolves around the weather around here. And, you know, I do end up kind of over structuring my days. And I personally, I'm just sharing with you right now. You're not alone. I, <laughs> I need to be better too at letting the flow and synchronicity into my world and allowing what the universe wants to show me and what, what the universe wants to show all of us. How can we express now? How can we serve? What's the best thing to do? Do I need to not be so worried about being so structured? Now, for those who live a completely unstructured life, this would be the opposite <laughs> thing for you. Flow and synchronicity means when there is a flow happening, you take the guidance and then you take action. So that that's a different kind of message for you because some of you, I think you allow things to come and then they flow right back out and you didn't do anything about it, right? So it's time to ease up on that, you know, take some, take it seriously. You know, when something comes up, explore it. All right. So I think this is the shortest video I've done in a long while. <laughs> We're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.